Jeff AZ Hot Homestead. Today I'm going to show you what I've done to my shipping container. If you recall inside my shipping container I did some shelves a while back ago and I'll put a link to that video on it like maybe there or there or somewhere on the video there. And I'll also put down in the description below. But anyhow, so I did some shelves in my shipping container and what I didn't do was my work bay area, my workbench. So this is my workbench. These are the shelves above the bench. I've already started putting some stuff on. Here's my bench here. I put a saw there. So let me just tell you briefly what I've done. So on the end of my shelving, I just put a some scrap pieces of uh, OSB plywood, whatever, on the side there, just to keep stuff from falling out. Plus, I can hang some stuff on here. I'll put a, uh, a backing on here. I have a two by three leg here here and over there that this thing attaches to plus on that 2x3 that 2x3 there also attaches to give support to this guy here I went with another 2x3 on the side here to give us some support I originally was going to go out to here but I changed my mind and just went to here this is 12 inches I believe and then I got these guys here. I doubled this one up just to give a little extra support. And down there I just have one. I might put a second one, but I have one. This is only half inch stuff. So I don't know if you can kind of tell in the video. There is a slight bow there, but it's not going to, I don't foresee a problem. It's, uh, I got screws around there to help kind of hold it all together. Then up above, I put another one, and that one's a 10 inch shelf, I believe. And that's just to put, take care of that extra dead space up there. So my thought was, let's put all my tools, my cordless tools, my corded tools, whatever. So I got, you know, like some saws, a multi-tool, you know, the drill and, and all that, you know, my nailer and and then right in here, I've got handy, you know, some sockets here. These are just some drill bits and and socket bits and and all kinds of weird stuff. So, um, you know how they come in little cases and things like this? Well, I just thought I'd put them right there nice and handy so they're all in the same place. Up against this wall here, I'm going to hang some tools. So I'll put whatever tools that I... Uh, I use most often right there I guess and this here this isn't very big but all I needed was a small workspace so this is about 27 inches coming out to here and actually this piece here I think is like 27 by 29 ish give or take and again it's the small half inch OSB and uh, but and I know that you want something thicker for a workbench, but I'm not going to sit here and pound stuff on it. So Now on this one here, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a line right through here. Because this guy here comes up. Now the reason why I did this is because I have these, these workbenches, these old workbenches that are fantastic. And they're a couple feet high. And I think I went right here, I think that's about 36 inches. And these are like 30 or something, but anyhow. And so I wanted something where I could slide some things under. And that's why there's no support out front. So that it makes it easier to slide things in and out if I need to. Because if I had that support, then I would lose a little bit of space like you see here. I would lose that two and a half inches. Because that's a two by three. So, the thought was go ahead and just leave it open. Like I said, I'm not going to be pounding stuff on there. So, it just gives me a nice little work area. This shelving here, this shelving, I'm going to keep loose. Just so that if I need to remove it to put other big stuff, I can. But, on the base, I got 2x4 legs just because I had those available. What does it look like underneath? 
the 2x3 there is for the workbench. This one here is sandwiched in because this one here is supporting the workbench and this one here on the other side is supporting the saw. I did the same thing down below. That's why sorry, this one here is on the opposite side. Because as I come up, then I have a separate table here for the saw. Here's my workbench with a shelf, a little storage area, the backing that I'll have tools on, and a place to put some, uh, some other tools, some shelving. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Easy Hot Homestead. <laughs>